Hi everyone, myself Devanshi Kesarwani and today we are going to solve a very interesting problem sliding window median. Let's look into this. So in this problem, basically we are given with an array and window size k and within each window k we need to calculate the median efficiently. So if we look at an example, n is 8 and k is 3 and if we have the, these values 2, 4, 3, 5, 8, 1, 2, 1 then the median would be if we look at this first window of size 3 then the median is if we arrange them in ascending order 2 3 4 then the median is 3 this is the median which we need to display now the window is going to slide so this would be the next window and if i sort them in ascending order then the next would be 4 right this one similarly if we go to this one then 3 5 8 median is 5 then for this 1 5 8 median is so like this we need to display of course one very basic uh, solution would be you take a portion of the window sort it and give the mid value this is kind of a very straightforward approach and you have to do the sorting would be take according to the window window is k so k log k and you have to perform this for the n values so this would be our time complexity which is not quite good so let's look over another approach and try to see how we can uh, proceed with this one which was the time complexity not good now i want you to look at this visually and what do you see this is a bell curve graph took this for a simplicity if you look then in this one side is the value is increasing and the other side is the value decreasing and lies in the middle our mean our median also and mode also that means a portion of the graph values are increasing and a portion of the graph values are decreasing if we are able to arrange the values in such a manner that this pattern follows up then i think we can have a solution with us now let's try to understand even further what is this median we are going to we are going to divide into the data into two parts the smaller half and the larger half as shown in the graph and then if we maintain these two dynamically if we are able to maintain this graph like this then we can have quickly access the median from any one of the half for the simplicity let's take this smaller half so smaller half means if this is a graph then this is a, like the smaller half right so values are increasing and if we to take the max of this smaller half this is our smaller half and if i calculate the max of this portion then this is going to give us the uh, median so like this we need to have now we can arrange them into two sets min half keep the smaller half the window and since uh, this is like the arrangement is something like this where the values one portion is increasing other is decreasing we can have some data structure which can perform this and sets are one of them, them. they arrange the data in ordered fashion in the in the sorted fashion so min half that means min half keeps the smaller half and uh, max half keeps the larger half of the window and then these two can work together and we can split the data accordingly to get the max half and min half balance structure let's look at the example so here we have one side uh, which is uh, min half a smaller half and the other one is the max of the larger half and then we are going to add the values basically we are going to now perform the some uh, some operation on the uh, on these sets and the these operation are nothing but we are going to either add and then we are going to balance them to maintain the graph and then if we have to remove also since the window is sliding hence for the adding we will make the min half which is this one which and we are going to point it to the median we are always we are going to make sure that it is going to point towards the median and if largest on the min half is smaller with the value we are dealing we are going to add in the max half so let's say um, this has three with us three and four comes with us suppose in this uh, min half or uh, uh, one of the set it has three in it uh, which is the value and four comes then we are going to compare it with because we have said this is going to be our median i have we have just said it so is is four coming the current this median three is smaller right this median which we have said is smaller than this then we are going to put it in our in our max half so like this we are going to balance and if you look at then this portion 
is dealing with this and this portion is dealing with this so if 4 comes 4 was a bigger number than this that's why we put in this max half then balance balance is such that the min half has more than one value for dealing for the dealing window so if a window we are dealing then this min half is having the median with us also right this median is also present with us that's why we want this to have one extra value the min half and removing a simple uh, once we get out of the window we erase it from the set let's look an example uh, this is a, a small portion of the window which we are taking 2 4 3 so in the beginning we have the min half with us and the max half the pink one is a min half and the blue one is the max half 2 uh, is going to be put in the min half because this is the default uh, min half is going to have some value so 2 is going to be put over here then the next value comes 4 so we will check if with min half the min half which 2 is the median we are saying is, is smaller that means it's smaller so the number which has come to the window is bigger that's why we are going to put in this is in the other half now comes the 3 again 3 is smaller so we are gonna put it as told we want to have one extra uh, uh, we want to balance it because the balance has been shifted to max half and we told that the min half is always going to carry one extra to maintain that median order to maintain the uh, median that means the balance is shifted so we will take the number uh, the smaller number basically from there and we are going to put over here and this is our median so like this the loop is going to work on uh, to maintain the balance between these two structure so the core logic is we need to add so if current median which we are dealing and the value which is coming is very big we are going to put it in the max half and otherwise if it is smaller we are going to put in the min half only then we have to balance it balance means is so if any max half in the in that example if you remember we were dealing with 3 and 4 and window size was 3 right we have taken 3 so 3 divided by 2 is somewhat 1 and max of window is 2 so 2 is greater than 1 that means this this balance ha has been shifted to max half which we don't want because and why we are doing this window size divided by 2 because if window size is, is uh, 2 3 4 so it has to go like this right so here the balance was getting shifted so graph was something like this it was getting tapered over here more values were getting over here that means we shifted it to the min half by saying that half window size half and if if it is the other around we have to balance it in different manner and we have to add plus one because we have to make sure that the min half is having one more extra value then we have to remove removing is very simple uh, as soon as the window shift so if two three four five six something was there and we have shifted over here we will find this value and we are going to remove it if it is present in max half or if it isn't present in min half whichever side it is present we are going to remove it simple so now let's look over the uh, programming of this and this is going to be getting very easy now okay so we have the value uh, size of the array the window size and then i did the input and then i make sure that min half has having value so i put the first value in the min half and started our adding logic over here basically we are going to add uh, add a uh, first uh, window size value so that the the sets are ready and then the first value will be simply the min half r begin r begin basically gives us the give the largest uh, uh, largest value so if 2 3 4 is present in min half 4 is going to be displayed so it gives the reverse beginning largest basically and then i am from the from the window size so if we have 2 3 4 5 6 7 then 2 3 4 has been taken care of so first window size has been taken care of we are going to start from the another window uh, size all right so we have to write the adding logic first so let's write the adding logic adding logic i have shown you also we will have our current median with us which is nothing but our wherever min half is pointing dot reverse begin basically this gives the current uh, median which is largest in lower half which is largest in lower half and then we will have a check if current median is smaller than the value that means we have to put in the max half so max half dot insert value and if this is not the case then 
I have to simply put this in minhow minhow dot insert value and also we need to perform the rebalancing logic so we need to balance also so how we going to balance if max half because remember we are putting in max half right the elements we are putting in max half because the current median is smaller with the with the value we are dealing so if it is greater than the window size half the size that means we have to take the min half uh, min half uh, and we have to insert that value the max uh, max half value uh, if you can visualize that example two three four then the three had to go over that uh, minimum portion right so two had to go in that minimum portion uh, because uh, the balance has been disturbed so i took the value and we have to take that minimum value from that max half that's why a normal begin will give that and then we have to erase it also so that means we are we are taking it right from there so we need to erase it dot find max of dot begin and the similar balancing logic we need to do over here also so what uh, is there in this in this we have a min half and since this is going to have an extra that's why we increase the window size plus one and then we just do this max min i'm just writing the reverse logic over here and this would be min half and this will be also min half so this was our core balancing logic and then uh, we can write the remove logic also similarly remove logic is very simple if max half dot find the value if you find the value and it is not equal to max half dot end basically if you are if we are able to find the value then we simply do max half dot erase max half dot find that value and erase it simple and else that means it is not present in the max half then it is sure that it is present in min half so we erase it from there all right and again uh, if doing so if we encounter that min half has become uh, in empty that means the lower portion has become empty uh, if min half uh, you, you remember right we do we should have some value in the min half and if it has become uh, empty then we have to bring some value so we will bring from the max half and we are going to remove it from max half dot erase dot find the smaller value from the max half we are going to find and we are going to put it in the lower portion simple and uh, then we have to take care of one edge case suppose the window size is, is one if window size is one then we need to do something and if window size is not not uh, one then what we have to do though if you see we have added the if window size is let's say three so we have added the three values now we have to shift the window that means we have to do the remove logic okay so it's removing not uh, so we have to find the rem uh, remove we have to do the removing and then we have to add that value so care of i how and what we have to remove we have to remove wherever the i is minus the window size so if i is at 4 the window size is 3 uh, so um, so this portion let me uh, give you an example over here so let's say 2 4 5 6 7 was there and 0 1 2 3 and k window size is basically k is 3 so we have already put this in uh, uh, over here then we want went up to one two since this is going to break it is not equal to then our i would be at three so error of i which is three minus window size which is three which is error of zero so this portion this guy is going to be removed because our window has shifted earlier the window was this but now it has shifted to over here that means we have to remove so that this is the logic for that and yeah and i was saying that if window size is one that means first we have to add it and then we have to do the removing same error of i minus window size you have to think this a little bit because window size is one right so window size one means that uh, in the one one th window only we have to find the uh, find the median so that means we have to add first then we have to remove like this and finally uh, we need to just display wherever the min half is pointing dot uh, reverse begin give the space all right 
so let's try to uh, put this commit i hope i have not done any mistake okay so we are getting some wrong answer oh okay so do note that when we are adding in max half we have to add the begin number present in the lower half so we have to put the r begin and now i think it should going to work let's try to submit again okay so it has been accepted